Hello guys and welcome to my new video. In this video we're going to design two screens and uh, in some of my next videos we're going to prototype or animate uh, this current design. So stay tuned. Uh, I have already chose uh, the colors for this design and the colors are already uh, ready in my color palette. Uh, so first we're going to create one um, simple rectangle and we're going to set the radius to 42 all right so now uh, the second thing we need to do we are going to uh, create a new shape with this uh, image in the background so let's uh, move it the right way all right let's uh, set opacity to 100 and select those two items and click mask with shape and we will get uh, great background uh, derived from uh, our background image so uh, I will now set this element on top of our mask group and I will name it gradient so this will be a gradient uh, overlay uh, for our application screen so we're going to use a linear gra gradient with uh, yellow and uh, orange color so let's move this a little bit like that and down below as well Alright, uh, set opacity to uh, 90%. Okay, uh, now, that, now that we have our background created, uh, we will start with the text. So let's say our app is called uh, uh, Meetup. Uh, we'll say uh, font size to 42, font to SF Pro display, uh, bold. Okay. So uh, we're going to center this text on the screen and uh, below that we're going to add one line, uh, white color as well, five uh, size, okay, just below our uh, text here, okay, now uh, the second text uh, will be join our community of uh, 10 plus millions uh, people all around the world or something like that. Okay, uh, this text will be with a different font, so we're going to use font Open Sans with a decreased uh, font size, uh, let's say 17 or 16. Okay, uh, Open Sans, I uh, will say light. Okay, center uh, vertical. Okay, and uh, for now it will stay uh, just below this. Uh, this white line. So the next thing uh, we're going to create a button. So create a rectangle here. Uh, uh, width will be 234 and height will be uh, 34 or oh, sorry uh, 64. Okay so uh, use a radius and a yellow color like we. So I'm going to change the top left radius for this button so it will uh, take a new look a modern look so let's add a shadow as well okay and now we need to set the text for this button which will be a login of course so this is our first screen uh, this is a welcome screen let's say and we're going to create a second screen as well which will be a login screen with two fields to for input okay and as I said uh, on the beginning of this uh, video, uh, I'm going to create another video, another tutorial for uh, animating this uh, design. It will be amazing uh, prototype or animation. So stay tuned and follow my uh, channel. Okay, so I have created this uh, text here with uh, 20 size. And uh, let's mirror this button. And uh, let's close this uh, fill color, just add the border with a size of 2, maybe. Okay, and this second button will be called uh, register, so a user can uh, register here as well. Let's change this text color to uh, yellow. Okay, so I will group uh, this text and this uh, rectangle into uh, one button. And uh, I'll do the same for a login button as well. 
it's important to group uh, elements uh, and uh, rename those elements uh, to a proper name because uh, we're going to need that in uh, our protopy when we are animating our design. So we'll name it register button button and the login button will say login btn. Okay, now we need to move those two elements a little bit down. Okay, somewhere uh, bottom marg margin uh, should be around 50. And uh, top margin from our login button to our uh, uh, subtext should be 50 uh, dp as well. Okay, it should look something like that. Okay, uh, now that we have uh, our uh, welcome screen uh, ready, uh, we are going to create another screen and uh, for, uh, for our login. So user can type uh, username and password. Okay, just drag here and copy this, uh, this screen and we are going to delete, delete some elements from here. And instead we're going to uh, write another text here, which will say uh, login to your account. Okay, just let's um, increase the font size and uh, add a regular font to this text. And the font is uh, open sans as well. So let's remove this register button because we are not going to need it. Instead, we're going to set the um, back arrow on, le on top left corner here, but we're going to do that later. Alright, uh, now let's create two fields, uh, which will be with, uh, let's say, 282 and height 54. So set the radius to all the angles, uh, center this element vertically. Uh, you can add shadow, it's optional. And uh, let's copy another uh, another field, which will be for password. So, okay, just a shadow. And now that we have that, okay, let's close there, close those two elements together a little bit. And now let's move this login to your account text right there okay it looks fine so next thing we're gonna we're going to create the remember me option as well we're going to decrease the font size uh, to 16 maybe okay and create a, a simple rectangle with the radius applied a width should be maybe 56 and uh, height maybe 30 i don't know We'll check it out. So remove this uh, uh, this border and just add green fill color. Okay, let's create a circle here, which will represent that uh, remember me option is active, currently active. The user has option to activate or deactivate this uh, option, of course. Uh, let's group those two elements and say remember me. So it will be easier for us to uh, create animation in the next video. Okay, and now we're going to create uh, forgot password text right uh, below this login button here. Just let's um, center vertically here and change the font size to 14. It's uh, better. Okay, now let's add some text here. Uh, to make this de design alive um, I will add just a random email address here don't worry about that I'll change the color uh, from white to to black so we can see it clearly okay maybe we can increase the font size uh, and font style as well uh, from light to regular okay uh, font size could be 16 all right it looks good and now for password we will just create uh, a few circles which will represent a hidden password of course okay now let's copy this circle now select two of them and copy now select four of them and copy again 
and let's copy one more time those four uh, circles and we have our password so let's uh, select all those circles and group them in uh, in one container which will be named uh, password for example it will be easier for us to uh, navigate those elements afterwards so okay left margin should be 30 and uh, we're going to move uh, those elements uh, a little bit let's adjust the space between them so it, it will be a great user experience okay let's move those two on the right a little bit Uh, let's group all those elements now and move them on the bottom like this maybe okay and the last thing we need to do is uh, create a back arrow so user have uh, an option to go back to our welcome screen and maybe click uh, register button instead of login so I'm just going to use a pen tool here nothing special okay I will change the color and of those uh, of those uh, lines and I'll set uh, size to 3 but I think it will be good enough if I set uh, size to 1 uh, to 2 so let's group those uh, those two elements here so it will be easier for us to drag it drag it uh, I think we should decrease the size a little bit maybe okay just uh, on the left side will be a little bit oh sorry it's it's pretty small <laughs> so I cannot move it uh, that easily but don't worry, I'm gonna man manage it hum uh, somehow. Okay, for now it will stay uh, this way. And there we go, uh, we have uh, successfully created the, or designed the two screens uh, for our animation in the next video. So, in the next video we're going to animate uh, the first screen and the second. and. Uh, but only if I have uh, enough time, if I don't, then I will split that uh, part uh, with animation to two videos. So we can create uh, an animation for one screen in one video and the animation for the second screen in the, in the second video. So uh, thank you for watching guys. Uh, please like this video if you find it helpful. And of course subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of those videos like this. Thank you for watching again and see you in the next video.